Having surgery can feel like a big step, but you're not alone. We're here to help you understand your options and make an informed choice about your treatment and care. You and your IBD team should decide together what is best for you. This is called shared decision making. Talking about surgery can be confusing. So let's start by taking a look at the most common parts of the gut that are involved in surgeries for colitis. The gut starts at your mouth and ends at your bottom or anus where poo passes out of your body. The gut is made up of your stomach, your small bowel, which is made up of the duodenum, jejunum and ileum and your large bowel which contains the colon and rectum. Many of the common surgeries for colitis are minimally invasive. Keyhole surgery, where the surgeon makes four or five small cuts and passes a camera, lights and tools through the cuts to see and work on the bowel. Another way of operating on the gut is by open abdominal surgery. The surgeon makes one larger cut in the tummy and can see inside without using cameras. Both keyhole and open abdominal surgery are done under general anaesthetic, which means you are fully asleep and cannot feel any pain during the operation. There are several types of surgery available to treat colitis. Let's go through them one at a time. During a subtotal colectomy, the surgeon removes the colon but leaves the rectum. The surgeon then brings the end of the small bowel, called the ileum, to the surface of the tummy and makes an ileostomy, also known as a stoma. Bowel contents pass out of this opening into a stoma bag. In a colectomy with ileorectal anastomosis, the surgeon removes the colon and then joins the end of the small bowel to the rectum. Unlike a subtotal colectomy, this means you can poo out of your bottom as you would not have a stoma. During proctocolectomy with ileostomy surgery, the whole colon, rectum and anal canal are removed. The surgeon makes an ileostomy, also called a stoma, by bringing out the end of the small bowel through your tummy wall. Bowel contents pass out of this opening into a stoma bag. This surgery is irreversible and the ileostomy is permanent. A stoma nurse will support you and give you practical help and information on living with a stoma. J-pouch surgery, which is also known as IPAA or ileal pouch anal anastomosis, is usually completed in two or three stages. In rare cases, it can be performed in one stage. During J-pouch surgery, the surgeon removes the entire colon and rectum and the small bowel is joined to the anus. Before the join is made, the surgeon creates a J shape with the end of the small bowel and uses surgical staples to hold the shape. The bottom of the J is then joined to the top of the anus. It will take around three months for the pouch to heal until you can use it to go to the toilet. While the pouch is healing, you may have a temporary or loop ileostomy created which brings part of the small bowel to the surface of the tummy, allowing bowel contents to pass into a stoma bag. The temporary or loop ileostomy will be closed when the pouch has had a chance to heal, allowing the pouch to function and store poo until you are ready to go to the toilet. Having pouch surgery means you can still poo out of your bottom. Contact your IBD team or visit our website for more information on risks and benefits of surgery, preparing for surgery, and other treatments for colitis.